Welcome back everyone. We're coming back to you with a one month update on the Kawasaki Z400. Check out my zigzag moves through the neighborhood and give a listen to that engine. I'll be back in a minute with all the details. <laughs> As you can tell, the mighty two-cylinder engine gives off a deep growling sound as you wind your way through the six-speed gearbox. The gear changes are smooth and easy thanks to the assist and slipper clutch. Now, I've got to let everyone know how much I love the upright riding position with the dirt bike style handlebars. An hour-long ride never felt so comfortable. There's no wrist pain, no back pain, no leg pain, no pain at all. It really lets you focus on riding and allows you to just enjoy your time out there. Next up, we have to talk about the overall styling and more specifically the metallic black flat paint. I've always had the more flashy, glossy paint job since I first started riding, but I'm really digging the humbleness of the flat black. Let's give another listen to this end. So I even picked up the uh, matching matte black helmet to uh, tie it all together. That's how much I love that paint job. And uh, just to let everyone know, I'm finally giving in on this flickability that everyone keeps raving about. I'll admit it here and now, it's super flickable. But even more than that, I have to say that what truly makes this bike special is going through a 90 degree turn. When you slow down and lean it over, it grips and pulls you through in a heart-pounding way. It's difficult to put in words, but it's really something to experience. Lastly, I'm still in the break-in period where you're supposed to keep it below 4,000 RPMs, but I will say that I passed three cars at once the other day, and the power is definitely there in the mid to upper range. It's almost like up there just waiting for you any time that you want to use it. I've also launched it a few times while keeping her steady in the 7,000 to 10,000 RPM range all the way through the gears, and there's a ton of power up there. I'm excited to get into it a lot more once this break-in period is over. I have just one negative to report so far, and it's these mirrors. They're great for seeing the lanes on either side of you, but I can't see anything behind me without leaning out kind of far. It's not horrible, but I've started looking at some aftermarket replacements already. So who would this bike be good for in the end? On the one hand, this bike would be great for a beginner rider. The power is uh, approachable and very manageable through the slipper clutch. But there's definitely enough power there to keep you happy for a very long time. And you wouldn't feel the need to go running back out and buying another motorcycle just six months later. On the other hand, this bike is perfect for a more experienced rider who wants to tear this street fighter all over town through the backcountry roads while staying in the high revs and flicking it back and forth through the corners. If this sounds like you, then the Kawasaki Z400 just might be the right fit. Check it out, it comes in the uh, candy green and the candy cardinal red. So, uh... Thanks for tuning in, and we'll check you out next time. Have a good night, all. Later.